Well, it's a very difficult word to translate into reality, I think, because there are different freedoms. There's freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of movement, uh, freedom of free speech, freedom of press. These are all aspects of living in a society that to me are very important and it's different freedoms that one has to fight for to respect and observe. Well, I remember very clearly when I was 13. Mm -hmm. My father belonged then to what was known as the South African Communist Party. And he would speak to me as an adult at 13. And I'll never forget when he said to me at 13, the problem with this country is that there's two groups of people, the haves and the have-nots. And I was 13 when he said that to me, and I've never forgotten. And I think it's that that has been my mission, that the have-nots have to have a better quality of life. So is that why you joined the ANC? Yes, that was how I was led into believing that the, um, the to fight for freedom and to realise that everybody had the right to a decent, honest life where people were given equal opportunity. Wow. I like that, hey, I really like that. You touched my heart. Uh, the process of transformation has been the vision of the ANC for this country. Mm -hmm. I feel there's still room, a lot of room, for transformation in this country. And that's what I feel is important. Um, I would feel um, the, the actual experience of racism is something that we need to overcome mm -hmm. and I think it's prevalent in the world still. Strength. Strength. <laughs> okay. I believe I've learned humility mm -hmm. and I've learned also strength. I think that being in my position, it has needed to be strong. I was out of the country in the um, late, in the 60s when things were very grim and people went into solitary confinement, 60s and 70s. I wasn't in the country. Mm -hmm. so, Where were you? Well, I was. Uh, living in in Zimbabwe and um, living in the Inakum was also not part of the mainstream. So it was only when I got back to Johannesburg in the 70s that I could become more involved. But I didn't um, put myself online as being dangerous because I had a responsibility to my children. So I was very cautious about underground activities. Be involved in your community, be aware of other people's problems, take care in, in leading a clean, decent life, I believe, and honourable. These qualities, I think, are very important because being honourable and decent, you can respect yourself for always. Um, and I don't feel that they are qualities that are emphasized enough in growing up to be honorable and to be um, decent. Because I feel that 
many of the principles that the ANC stood for still need are relevant and need to be put in place. The question of transformation, the freedoms that I've just discussed. Um, we still need to work very hard to achieve the goals of what was put down in the Freedom Charter and the realities of non-racist, non-sexist, democratic country. The wonderful people I meet. The wonderful people you meet. All the comrades. <laughs> Including myself. Including you. I'm very <laughs> thrilled to have this today.